let us look at how the polymer is formed. Polymerization is a chemical reaction. The general polymer formation is explained now. There are two different mechanisms by which polymers are formed. One is free radical polymerization and another is chain polymerization or addition. A typical polymer formation by free radical mechanism is first explained. It has three steps. Initiation, propagation and termination. So, in a monomer, depending upon the monomer, some initiator is added. The initiator degrades or dissociates into radicals or free radicals, which means it has an active site. This active site, we can see here in the next say, line, I2 is initiator and it forms two I dot. Dot is free radical or what we can say, it has an affinity to accept the monomer, forming M I dot. What it means is like, suppose we have got initiator and that rod, what we can say I dot, that dot is free radical. You can consider this as rally race, okay? That baton is there with me. I hold and hands of next person and transfer that baton to the next person. Now that baton becomes a free radical for the next monomer. So I dot plus M gives you MI dot. That means one monomer unit is attached to the initiator. So that free radical or dot will accept one more monomer, one more monomer. And likewise, the monomer chain will grow. As we can see here, MI dot plus M, M is monomer. It has formed MM. That means two monomers are joined. One more will be added, it will be three. So three, four, five, like that, it will go on adding. And that each time, as you can see, only one monomer is added. So first was initiation. I2 becoming two I dot is initiation. I dot plus M, initiation. Once the initiation has started, monomer goes on adding very rapidly. This entire process of adding about 80,000 or 90,000 monomers happens in a few seconds. So it's a very rapid process. So what we see here is that the polymer goes on increasing. So what happens to, when do we stop the polymer? So stopping the polymer is also by adding another additive, which will take away that free radical. And either you will have two different chains of MN and MP, or two different chains can join ends together and give you a larger chain. So which one will be accepted depends upon the conditions inside the reactor and what is your recipe. In other words, in polyethylene, we add hydrogen or we add methane so that that free radical reacts with hydrogen, hydrogen gets connected with the monomer and chain growth stops. Once the chain stops, it does not grow further. That is the characteristics of this particular kind of reaction. While as there is another way, by which polymer can be formed. And that is normally called as addition or condensation polymers. The polyethylene terephthalate, PET, is formed by this particular route. So the ethylene glycol, we have seen this reaction earlier, has two hydroxy groups on the same molecule, OH, OH. This can react with CWH, OH group, and form the water molecule. And that we can see over here, CH2, CH2, OH on two sides, and H on the terephthalic acid, which is shown in red. HOH is water. So water molecule is formed, and OH on the first group, and CWH on the second group, they are now on the same molecule, OH and CWH. So this is called as a half ester. And that is the actual monomer. Now, this can react with either ethylene glycol, where CWH group will react, or CWH will react with glycol. So, either glycol or terephthalic acid, they will go on reacting with this to form a bigger chain. Now, we can go to understanding some of the polymers which are commonly used. So, first, let us look at polyethylene. We have said that there are three grades. 
लो डेंसिटी पॉलिथिलीन एल डी पी लीनियर लो डेंसिटी पॉलिथिलीन एल एल डी पी एंड एच डी पी हाई डेंसिटी पॉलिथिलीन द डेंसिटी ऑफ हाई एच डी पी इज अबाउट पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स एंड दैट ऑफ एल डी पी एंड एल डी पी इज ऑफ पॉइंट नाइन वन टू पॉइंट नाइन टू एज वी कैन सी दीज नेम्स वेर डिराइव बिकॉज एल डी पी वॉज फर्स्ट फॉर्म इट्स डेंसिटी वॉज लो एयर फॉर इट वॉज कॉल्ड एज लो डेंसिटी एच डी पी was made later on its density was higher than that of ldp so it became high density polyethylene these are available in the form of granules or what we call as dana these are process by extrusion or molding by main techniques but there are other techniques we can form the fibers we can form the sheets from which thermo forming can be done and therefore the extrusion molding are the basic two techniques by which this polymer is processed mostly so these are some of the products which are made from polyethylene as you can see its major applications is in packaging films when we look at polypropylene it is also part of polyolefin so polypropylene is made from propylene its density is about 0.9 much lower than hdp it's easy to process and it is a very versatile polymer it can be used in packaging films mainly and also in household items so again it is also available in the form of granules pp fibers are being used in geotextiles so when the road is constructed geotextiles are being used this geo is spelling of geo and not reliance jio pvc polyvinyl chloride it is made from vinyl chloride p and pp are differentiated in terms of mfi while as pvc is given by k value higher the k value higher the molecular weight so normally 67 and 57 are being used very regularly but there are some applications where k value of 72 or 80 are also used k value is represented by the viscosity of pvc in a specific solvent such as mibk pvc is Used in a very versatile way, it can have the rigid application as well as flexible application. PET, polyethylene terephthalate, more commonly known as polyester. It is used in bottles. All of us are familiar with bottles, which we use for drinking water or for the drinks. Also, it is used in films for packaging and also fibers from which one can make T-shirts or sari material. It is sold in the form of flakes. So, if you look at polyethylene, polypropylene granules, PVC powder form, but PET in the flake form. Those are like flakes. Those can be with color, without color. PET is classified by its inherent viscosity. That is the viscosity of specific concentration of PET in a given solvent. What are the products made from PET? Bottles. Then we can have the geo textiles. packaging films or flexible films nylon or polyamides nylon 6 is commonly used or another one is nylon 66 which is also called as polyamides ps66 those are available in the pellet form so pellets are like small cylinder and those are available again in the form of pellets but they are designated by the k well by the mfi value so mfi as well as intrinsic viscosity both are used to denote nylons the grades may be differentiated based upon either mfi or in terms of intrinsic viscosity now so far what we have seen here were thermoplastic materials now we can have the thermoset resins which are we are only covering only three or four year alkyd resins alkyd is name coming from alkali and acid alkali like hydroxy compounds and organic acids these are also used from they are also made from vegetable oils these are liquid at room temperature and they become solid when you mix it with certain catalyst and heat together it becomes a thermoset material and this in paint is called as the drying so the alkyd resins are liquid at room temperature 
the final product is solid due to cross linking but after that it cannot be remated again epoxy these are used in araldites so epoxies are also used in chemical reactors glass reinforced epoxies are used for making the reactors also now as you can see there are two tubes which are showing here so one is resin the other is hardener so they are mixed together and once they cross link it becomes solid it is like araldite what we are having is two different tubes from one we take resin from the other we have cross linking agent once you mix there is a hardening time before that you must make an application if you mix and come after half an hour it will be solidified so once you mix you have to use them before the hardening times and those are given for your information on the product list also phenolic resins these are very old materials molding compounds are made from phenolic resins it is a reaction between phenol and formaldehyde the phenolic compounds are of two types novolac and risol novolac is made differently risol is made different risol may have some water which needs to be removed phenolic powder molding powder is mixed with fillers and catalyst and then they can be heated in a mold and then the final product can be made what we see on a pressure cooker near the handle or handle of cooking pan normally those are made from phenolic resins they are heat resistant they are very strong and they have got a very good insulating property many times the foam products or foam molds are made from phenolic resins which are used on stages or in the walls because they are also fire retardant